In this lesson, we'll take a look at rates of change and the slope of a curve. And in the example at the beginning of this page, Sam drives 180 kilometers on the Trans-Canada Highway to Thunder Bay, Ontario. And he sets his cruise control at the speed limit of 90 kilometers per hour. Now the 90 kilometers per hour could easily be Sam's average speed for the entire trip. If the trip takes him two hours, we calculate speed as uh, distance, 180 kilometers, divided by time. So 180 kilometers divided by two hours would be 90 kilometers per hour, and that could be his average speed for the entire trip. However, his instantaneous speed, which is his speed at any instant, and that's what the speedometer will show you when you look at it, will not always be 90 kilometers per hour. For example, cars often lose, lose some momentum on long hills, and, and this could cause his car to slow below 90 kilometers per hour. Also, if Sam decides to pass a slower moving vehicle, then while he's passing, his instantaneous speed might be 110 kilometers per hour, or perhaps 115, something over 90 probably. And we could also calculate an average speed for the passing time, for maybe that 30 seconds or so, however long it takes him to pass. And, uh, and, and that might be, that would probably be higher than 90 kilometers per hour as well. Now, how does this relate to graphs? Well, if we take a look at this blue cubic function here, if I plot a couple of points, R and S, and join them with a line segment or draw a line through, the segment that goes from R to S is called a secant because it joins two different points on a curve. So this is a secant RS. That actually is an N. It's sort of hiding behind the y-axis there. If I draw a line that touches the curve in only one point, and that's the point Q here, this is called a tangent, and it's called the tangent at Q, or, and the point of tangency is the point Q. So in the interval around Q, that tangent only touches the curve in one single point. Now it's not to say that if we extended that curve it couldn't cross the curve, that line it couldn't cross the curve in some other point. For example, um, if we draw it down here and extend it, it actually does touch at this point and of course at Q as well. And so we could refer to this as the secant between this point and Q, but this is also a tangent at point Q.